Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. And we give you guys a first perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we're going to have a lot of fun in this episode here. But before we get into it, make sure you go and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, I, I, I wanted us to have some fun, uh, a little bit of fun today. I know the NBA season is probably about another two months away or so. I mean, preseason and all of that stuff is not going to start. For, I mean, training camp starts um, towards the end of September. So we still have time midway, let's say the midway point, third week. Of September, so we still have time, but I want to look ahead. Let me tell you where this topic really came from. So every time I log into my Facebook account, as y'all know I support the Clippers. I'm a Kawhi Leonard fan. I always see some of the people that I'm friends with on there, maybe some of the pages I follow. They always post in these various videos about the Clippers and all of these different things. So it's something that I've been thinking about recently. There was a, I believe it was a, a video or whatever, GIF, GIF, whatever you want to call it, of Kawhi Leonard. Um, walking through the Clippers practice facility, I think it was it was a, it was a New Balance, and people were like, "Yo, man, Kawhi looks, you know, he looks massive. He looks yoked, man. What's going on? Y'all ready? Bah, 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 bah. Whatever, 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 whatever." So this kind of you know these things that I've been seeing really you know really sparked uh, this video, and in today's video, man. We're definitely going to ruffle a lot of feathers, but in a good way, because we're talking about basketball. No one is fighting here, and it's not a, it's not it's something contentious. We're going to have fun debating this thing. But today, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make a case to you guys um, that I believe that the Clippers, especially Kawhi Leonard, if the, you know if he returns healthy, and you know they're you know he's healthy for the entire season, I think he's going to be one of the, I think he's going to be the guy that has an, uh, an opportunity to stand in the way of Stephen Curry um, getting to another finals appearance uh, this year. I, I, I truly do believe that. Now, some people may say, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're such a Kawhi Leonard fan. I can't stand this guy. He's such a Kawhi homer. We haven't heard about Kawhi Leonard in so long. How are you going to have the courage to say, because I put Kawhi in the top five players right now. How are you going to have the courage to put Kawhi Leonard in the top five, man? We ain't seen him in so long. How are you going to say that, man? I can't stand this dude. Unsubscribe. I'm going to tell you why I say it. Let me, I'm going to tell you guys why I say that. When Kevin Durant got injured, when he tore his Achilles, and he missed the year, I didn't hear nobody talking about, well, we haven't heard from KD in 7,000 years, so he can't be one of the greatest players. Nah, they still gave it up to KD, right? KD was still one of the best players in the world. And Kawhi Leonard didn't go through an Achilles injury, for goodness sake. We still consider Kevin Durant to be one of the best players in the world. We still gave him that benefit of doubt. So why why would I give Kawhi Leonard the benefit of doubt? Why why would I do that? People, no, no, we ain't been heard from him. Don't say Kawhi. Don't you dare say Kawhi. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say Kawhi. I'm gonna say Kawhi is gonna piss a lot of you guys off, but that's what I think. Now some of y'all may think, oh no, no, he's just a he just a, he just a homer. No, no, ain't nobody thinking about them Clippers, man. Ain't nobody. Well, it turns out if you guys don't know, recently Draymond Green. Your man was actually saying that the Clippers were a serious threat and a problem to the Golden State Warriors in this upcoming season. But before we get into that, we got to pay the bills. This video is brought to you by our sponsor, Aura, who's also the official sponsor of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Do you know what the fastest growing crime in America is today? It's identity theft. Imagine trying to log into your email only to see that your password has been changed. Then you start getting weird notifications from your bank and credit cards only to find out that all of your personal and sensitive information has been totally compromised. If you think it can happen to you and your family, just know that in 2020, over 49 million Americans were victims to identity theft, costing them a combined $56 billion. That is why we are excited to partner with Aura, who is the sponsor of this video. Aura is the number one identity theft and financial fraud protection. Aura monitors the dark web and alerts you if any of your passwords and accounts have been breached. And funny enough, after using Aura, I discovered some of my credentials were floating around in the dark web, and the app showed me exactly when and where the breach happened. In addition, Aura allows you to set spending alerts and they'll notify you of any suspicious transactions. Aura is four times faster than any of its competitors in alerting you if someone is trying to open a credit card or obtain a loan using your name. And remember this, every 14 seconds, someone becomes a victim of identity fraud. Don't let it happen to you. Now click the link in the description and try Aura for free for two weeks and see if any of you or your family's personal information has been compromised. Start your free trial at aura.com slash dreamers pro. And when you try Aura, by using the link in the description below also know that you're supporting this channel thank you so what, what we want to do now is we want to play some of the things that draymond green had to say and this is really for the sober fans you know especially warrior fans that are sober i want if because maybe if it's coming from me y'all gonna say, oh you a hater but maybe it's coming from draymond green so maybe you take it more seriously so take a listen to some of the things that draymond green had to say here 
and then we're going to come back and react to it. Take a listen to that. Got Ty Lue as their coach, who I arguably – Thank you. Is arguably – I mean, I have a great coach myself, uh, Steve Kerr. But for, for the sake of the old media debates, Ty Lue is arguably one of the best coaches in the NBA. Uh, arguably the best. You know, someone can make that argument. Um, and then they have great players. Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, uh, the guys that they're filling in around them with. You go you go pull a trade off and get Robert Covington. And... and um, and uh, Norman, Powell. Norman Powell, and you already have Marcus Morris there and Reggie Jackson. They're a real threat. Batum may probably will resign there. Like that's a real threat um, and a problem. Like they're a threat and a problem. But other than that, <laughs> were you were you surprised? Were you surprised uh, <laughs> Dallas got there? I'm sorry, Dallas is a threat because they have one of the best players to play. Yeah. And, and, and when you have, like, <clears throat> like, by all means, don't get it twisted. There were a lot of reasons we won the finals, but we had the best player on the court every series we played in. So your, your chances of winning goes through the roof. In most series that Luka Doncic plays in, he's going to be the best player on the floor. So because of that, you'll always give yourself a chance. And then they got Nico Harrison, who... I mean, you and I both know how Nike negotiate, and that was Nico negotiating those contracts. So they got Nico doing the job with Jay Kidd, and 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 I think their secret ingredient to their thing is Jared Dudley. Jared Dudley is one of the smartest guys that I've been around when it comes to basketball, and you know, does does is very smart. So I think that's their secret ingredient. So Memphis, I mean Dallas is a threat. Can't quite say they're a problem yet. But they are 100% a big threat. So you hear what Draymond Green had to say. They're a problem and this and this and this. But I want to get into it a little bit further, right? Going into last season, if you guys remember, if you guys were following this channel, I said, if you remember clearly, I said the two teams that I picked to represent the Western Conference, I mean, to, to make it to the Western Conference Finals uh, in this season, the season that just passed, were the Clippers and the Warriors. The videos are out there. I'm not sitting up here twerking it up for, for no reason. I said that. I said that I thought it was going to be Clippers and the Warriors, and I thought the Clippers because I thought, number one, after what I saw them do the season prior uh, when they were going to the Eastern, what is it, the Western Conference, and they did all of that without having two nights of rest. Like, they played every other game for three straight weeks. We forget about that. But I saw what they were able to do when Kawhi Leonard went down. So I said to myself, imagine if he was healthy. This team could have possibly made it to the NBA Finals. So I said, if he comes back, he's healthy. He should be. This team should be able to get far. But obviously, Kawhi didn't come back, and I thought uh, that Kawhi Leonard was going to come back. So it's not like as if I'm just sitting up here saying things. No, but I think that the Clippers and the Warriors match up very, 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 very well. The Warriors are not necessarily a very big team. They're a team of guards. Excuse me. They're a, they're a team of guards and wings. Essentially, that's what they are. You have the Jordan Pools. You have the Stephen Currys. Uh, I have the Warriors roster here. Okay, exactly. You have the Jordan Pools. You have the Stephen Currys. The Draymond Green, who can play the three or the four, sometimes the five. You have Klay Thompson. You have, uh, what is it? Uh, Andre, uh, uh, what is it? Andre Wiggins. These are all Fords, right? These are all Ford wing guards and wings or whatever. And then they have some big men in uh, Kevin Looney. Um, and uh, I think they just added John Michael Green. That's a fantastic pickup, by the way. He used to be a Clipper two years ago, and then I think he was with the Denver Nuggets. And then, of course, they have James Wiseman. But wait, 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 what's, we are waiting to see what he's going to do. So now we know that the Warriors have that. So let's look at the Clippers. They have John Wall, but we're still, we, you know, we're going we're gonna to wait and see. But they still have John Wall. They have Reggie Jackson. They have Kawhi Leonard. They have Paul George. They have Norman Powell, which was a fantastic pickup. They have Robert Covington, another fantastic pickup. They have a very young, talented two-way player, in, uh, which, um, which is really like a slasher, and Terrence Mann that can hit threes. You have Luke Kennard, and then you have one big, really, in, uh, what is it, Ivica Zubak. And, of course, they got my man Marcus Moore Sr., right? So these two guys, if you just look at these two teams, excuse me, if you look at the personnel, of these two teams, they match up very well. Very, very well. So then it comes down to, okay, what guy do you believe will be able to overcome the other guy if they were to meet up in a in a series in the Western Conference? Because remember, coaching, I would probably give the edge to Ty Lue. Now, obviously, Steve Kerr is a more decorated coach, 
when we're talking about NBA championships. But Ty Lue is also arguably the best coach in the NBA, and he's also a championship coach. And I think he was a coach of that 3-1 comeback against the same Golden State Warriors team. So Ty Lue is no slouch, and I think he's the best coach at making adjustments. I mean, it's unreal. Uh, what Ty Lue can do in a playoffs and pressurized situation, making in-game adjustments and in-between game adjustments. He's a savant, total savant. And I said it before, I'm going to say it again. If you want to learn about basketball, watch Ty Lue interviews, post-game post -game interviews. You'll learn a lot more than a lot of these guys, including me, talking basketball. He's a savant. Um, so you have the coaching where they kind of match up very well as far as coaching. But then you go, you come down to the players. And you're like, okay, well, who, who, who would I pick if the teams were evenly matched? And you're talking about Stephen Curry. Right, who a lot of people um, uh, believe is a, what is it is a top ten player or on the fringe of being a top ten player, uh, depending on where you have him. And then you have a Kawhi Leonard. Now this is gonna piss a lot of people off, but I really don't care because a lot of people don't be caring when they piss me off. So I'm gonna say my piece. Going into a series, everybody healthy, teams are evenly matched. If you're asking me, do I want Kawhi Leonard or do I want Stephen Curry? I'm going with Kawhi Leonard a hundred out of a hundred times, a hundred and one out of a hundred and one times. You give me Kawhi. If both teams are healthy. Both teams are healthy, coaching, everything is everything is good. I'm going to take Kawhi Leonard. I'm just going to go with Kawhi, right? And I think Kawhi Leonard is 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 gives the Clippers enough of a premium to be able to stop the Warriors. Now, I'm not saying it's defender like, yeah, they're going to beat them, but I I would pick Kawhi. I would I would I would I would put my money on them. Right. And I think that because I think that, you know, the teams match up very well. And, and it's really a matchup that I'm really, really, really looking forward to seeing. I hope we get it at some point next season. I think that's going to be the marquee matchup of the season next year uh, in the Western Conference, especially in regular season. I think that's it. I think the Clippers versus Warriors are the what is it are the um, it, we're going every time they match up, we're going to be looking at the Western Conference finals preview. This is my personal. Opinion. I think they're two great defensive teams, obviously. Um, both of their best players affect the game in different ways. Stephen Curry, Stephen Curry, with his ability to constantly keep defenses on a swivel, he's always moving. And then, of course, you have Clay Thompson; he's always moving, and you always have to be chasing this guy around, which creates a lot of opportunities for bad cuts. Of course, you have Draymond Green; they can facilitate the offense. He's a great passer, great rebounder, great defender. You have that aspect of it. But the Clippers have, you know, the Clippers ain't no slides. As I said, yeah, of course, I also forgot my man, Nicholas Batum. Right, so I think the Clippers are arguably the deepest team in the Western Conference. I think the Warriors are going to come back with everybody, but I think the Clippers do have an opportunity to stand in the way of the Warriors. Now, I could be wrong because I'm not a fortune teller, and everybody's wrong, including the people that are watching this video. Y'all have been wrong too. Don't act like you're batting a thousand, right? But to me, I think they're the one team that can uh, they can really get in their way and make some noise. This is what I believe. So uh, let's let's get the debate started. I'm so, some people are going to agree with me, some people are going to disagree, and I'm here. And I'm here for all of the arguments and all the smoke that comes with it in the comment section. So um, what I want to know from you guys is what do you think about the points that I brought forward? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And we catch you all on the next episode.